Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Above and Beyond. And here today we have Rachel, your brand, okay, your debut in this podcast. How are you doing today? Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank you for being here today. We're going to be talking about overcoming adversity. Um, it depends on what we're talking about, right? Uh, so let's jump right into it. Uh, what kind of adversity, when you think of adversity, give me an example of kinds of adversity that comes to your mind, something, you know, on a daily basis. So for me, my main adversity is uh, time management. So, you know, going from one job to another, plus school, plus home, and, you know, combining all that together and staying on track. Right, right. Like, uh, how about, uh, uh, let's talk about like a physical type of adversity. Let's say a person that is overweight and need, and need to lose weight, of course, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, for some reason can't work out or just can't seem, can't seem to lose weight. Is that, a, is that an adversity? How does a person, um, what is the right mindset? How can a person look um, at, that, at that type of obstacle, if you will? Well, even for something like that, there's always ways to start off, you know, maybe watching a YouTube video, how to do like stretches at home that helps out or like maybe first starting with diet. Cause for yeah. loose weight, it's like 70% diet and 30% eating. So starting off easy that right. way. Might be an also uh, like a, a financial yeah. situation, right? And what, yes. what kind of financial situation you could, you could consider like adversity? <laughs> um, broke? Yeah, being broke, you know, being yeah. a college student, you're always broke. College so. student, how about uh, losing your job? True, yeah, always, yeah. <laughs> the crash, the market crash, all that kind of things. And uh, also, I think that what we, we got to look at the way um, uh, you look at things, right? How uh, about the, the, the root of the problems? Uh, what things, like, for example, let's talk about, I always like to go back to the, uh, the workout, the health and nutrition, because it's a good example, right? Uh, what kind of things, like, for example, if a, if a person needs to lose weight, right, and always hit the, the weight, you know, your weight, your physical state is your adversity for you, right, and you want to, like, get in shape and all that, what kind of things, it, what causes it? I think that we got to go to the root of the problem. What caused that? Why are you in that situation? So for that situation, most of the times it's always going to be eating. You know, you're always eating like fried food or processed food or anything unhealthy and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about the lifestyle? Life, it could be lifestyle too. You know, working like most jobs nowadays, you're always sitting at a desk. You don't have time to you know get up, move around, go and exercise. Exactly, and and also sometimes it might be like a mental type of situation. Mm -hmm. Maybe how about the environment that you're in? True. You know, maybe. You're in a bad environment. Maybe it's your own fears, your own insecurities keeping you down. You know, you what kind of a bad environment? What kind of a yeah? What kind of a bad environment is a good example? Um, maybe not uh, having non-supportive family members or friends. Family member. Right. So it doesn't necessarily have to be friends. No, Can be no. a family member, yeah. right? Uh, insecurity. Yeah, your maybe your own insecurities are you know keeping you in that same position. Keeping you in the same position. Uh, bad habits. Or yeah. uh, is there any bad habit that also? over time can be compounded and, and, you know, explode somewhere else. Like uh, what kind of example of bad habit? Um, going back to the health thing, maybe eating too much, say candy, like every single day, or, you know, maybe making too many pancakes in the morning or this and that, not balancing it out. Not waking up on time, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, not showing up, not showing up. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I gotta go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go to the next level because if you keep eating like you ate at home, you will keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman. Sometimes I think that it might be, I think that there are adversity that people call adversities that I think is a little overrated. It's not necessary. Some of them are not necessarily adversity, don't you think? Wouldn't you agree with that? Yes. You know, there's situations like maybe, I believe you were stating before, like if you have a girlfriend cheat on you, is that really an adversity or is that like a new opportunity that, exactly. like, you know, you're not dealing with that pain anymore? Like, yeah, for example, for instance, if a person, it's, uh, and now we're not going to go deep into this, but, you know, like if a, if a person cheats on you 
or maybe you were fired from a job that you were not really good at, you know, and that's okay. Sometimes you're going to get, you're going to get jobs that you're not really good at. You're going to look at it the wrong way, of course, because it's just not easy. It's not easy, right? That somebody right. fires you and you're just not good at that. And, uh, is that bad or is that an opportunity? No, it could be opportunity. Cause you can go back and say, Oh, look at all the things I learned. Look at all the opportunities I had on that job. And I could take that apply and use it somewhere else and get better over time. Somewhere else. And yes. that's important things. It's not like you lost that, right? Yes. It's that you're going to you actually gained in that yeah. point. And, and somewhere else was another, what's an example of somewhere else? Somewhere else could be maybe a new job, a new city, a new home, just Anywhere new. Anywhere new, exactly. Uh, change your thinking. Uh, what kind of things can people do to change the way they think, the way they see things? Well, what kind of tools do they have? Well, first, um, change your emotions. You know, getting a better, positive outlook on life, seeing things. I guess try and be happy, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't always look at things like so negative. Say like, oh, what can I do to better this? Instead of, oh, what did I do wrong? Right. Uh, and how about channels? What, how do you find that information uh, information to feed your mind and, and, and make you uh, you know a better person overall um, books yeah there's self-help books you can go on YouTube and look up different ways YouTube. I mean there's so many podcasts like it is yes. right <laughs> uh, podcast seminars yes webinars classes <laughs> you know all kinds of things mm -hmm. uh, you can go to college you sure know? yeah and uh, but that but that's a Good point. I'm always pro education, but a lot of people need to think, need to um, know that college is not always a be all end all. You know, it's you're, if you're not in college, it's okay, right? It's yes. not the end of the world. There are plenty. Wouldn't you agree that there's yeah. plenty of tools outside of college? Yeah, because even now you can go on YouTube and basically look up almost anything you want to and learn about that as well. And there's also free classes online. You can just gather information. Uh, absolutely. Exactly. And uh, and I think that uh, overall, uh, uh, those are basic things here and there that people can do. We're not going into nitty gritty because, of course, uh, sometimes things are individual, but I think these are things that people can little by little start implementing. Yes. And uh, I think that those are things here and there you can do day in, day out. But um, before we wrap it up, any final thought on, you know, how can people deal with this situation? If there's a person out there by themselves that, you know, that is kind of losing hope. Honestly, they're not alone because, I mean, no one is perfect. Everyone is always going to go through at least some hardships throughout their lives. So it's going to get better soon. Exactly. As soon as, uh, as long as you put the work, right? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you it so was much. great, great conversation. Great conversation. Thank you very much for your input. And uh, I look forward to keep talking to you in this, in this podcast and having a conversation with you. And, uh, that's it for today. Make sure to follow us on social media. Thank you, guys. Bye. See you next week.